Hey, what's up guys? Roger here. So I just walked out of Willy Wonka and uh, before I give you my thoughts, uh, I just want to kind of put this like disclaimer out there that, you know, I'm not a really big Willy Wonka guy. Uh, I haven't really seen a lot of the, the older movies. Um, I've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and like the Johnny Depp one and all that stuff, but I, I never grew up on it. So I'm purely just going to give you a, a review on what I thought about the movie and at, as a film more so than like oh my god the mythology of Willy Wonka or like how it compares to my childhood memories like no I, I never had that kind of a connection to it so with that said here are my basic thoughts um it's a fine film um I don't think that it's anything great I don't think it's anything horrible uh I think that it takes some getting used to as far as this really wacky and and bonkers kind of a world um, you know, the, the mythicalness or the, the mysticalness of Willy Wonka is something that I'm not very used to. It's, it's not really my cup of tea, right? I like more grounded films, but nonetheless, this is what the movie is. And overall, I thought that, um, the movie was pretty well paced. Timothy Chalamet did a good job. There were some times where it felt like the tone was kind of off as far as like, there's some moments where he's very serious, then he flips a switch and he's super goofy. Uh, so those kind of moments didn't really work for me. In general, I think the story is what you would expect out of a Willy Wonka movie. There's a lot of chocolate. There's a lot of like, you know, adventures going on and like, you know, fun things going on. Uh, I will say this is definitely like a family movie that's geared more towards children because I feel like the story doesn't really develop that much. Uh, what I mean is that there really isn't a lot of, of depth in this film. Uh, and so I find that to be kind of like fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Uh, but definitely something where I just kind of sat through it and was like, hey, yeah, you know, this is fine. Yeah, it's it, also, by the way, it's it's a it's there's a lot of musical numbers. I don't know if I'd call this a musical per se, but there's a lot of musical numbers in this. And so I kind of just like, hey, you know, these are great set pieces. These are great musical numbers. Um, you know, I totally get what they're trying to go for here. It just really wasn't my cup of tea. So to kind of end things off, guys, here's what I would say. If you are a Willy Wonka fan and you love this kind of whimsical kind of uh, world and, and storytelling, then this film is definitely for you. If you're not one of those people and you just kind of wanted to see what Timothy Chalamet could do with this role, it might, I mean, definitely still check it out if you want to, but it might not fulfill on like the story end of things and like the overall movie end of things. Because in general, I felt like the film was pretty flat. Um, there were some bits of emotion, but to be honest, they weren't as well set up or paid off as, as I would have liked. Uh, but in, at the end of the day, guys, I would say if you're a huge Willy Wonka fan, then definitely come check it out in theaters and have a good time with it. If not, you might just be able to wait for this on streaming and just kind of, or, or come out and see it on like a, a, a Tuesday matinee or something, or like a $5 Tuesday. Um, so yeah, those are kind of my general thoughts. Uh, so with that said, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for what's next to come on The Real Breakdown.